What's up, everybody? This is Christina again from Joy Your Carry. Um, I'm not exactly sure how many videos I'm going to do each week or how often I'm even going to do them, but I figure while I have bags that I find to be interesting and that are not um, all over YouTube, you know, ha having had tons of reviews on them, I figured I'd do we'll do one myself. This is one of the ones I have in my collection that I really enjoy. This is the Air Commuter Brief. Um, this is two, the second version of the bag. It's a 13 liter bag. Um, and it's mainly to be held as a briefcase or of course to be held with this shoulder strap. Front pocket here, which I love about air. These great zippers, great zipper pulls, really thick and chunky, easy to pull. Is the admin section. There is a big slip pocket back here, which you can put magazines, paperwork, I have some random stuff back here. Um, I don't use this one every day, but I do use it occasionally when I need to carry more things. And so I do have some of my stuff in this bag right now. There is a little zipper here. It does not come with this zipper pull, but I added it because I like to have a little extra something there to grab the zipper. In here there is a key clip that you can use for your keys or something else that you want to keep track of um, to fit inside this zipper. There's some room in here, and if you can see there's definitely room to fit a pouch or two in there. There's a stretchy pocket right up here, which is where I keep, you know, I've got some a lip balm and hand cream and a mirror in there. Over here, there's a couple of pen loops. I have a couple of pens here, a Sharpie, a flashlight, a highlighter, another pen, my multi-tool. There's really no great place for it, so I kind of stick it back here to let them in over there. And there's another stretchy pocket up here where I have just tissues stashed in. Um, this front part of the bag, as you can see, sort of puffs out a little bit and has dimension, so that if you wanted to shove like a, a little jacket, a little sweater in here, you easily could. And zip it up. Two nice briefcase handles on top that snap together. So you can just undo those. And there is the main button. And it opens, you know, two thirds of the way down, maybe, on both sides, as you can see. Um, you open this, there's a good amount of space in there. There is a soft and very padded laptop compartment. You can fit up to a 15 inch MacBook Pro. And here I just have my um, iPad Pro 11 inch with a keyboard case that fits in there pretty easily. There's also another sleeve here that's not padded that you could potentially put a smaller tablet in or a little book or a thin folder or something. Um, just take out some extra thing, random things that I have. I have my some gloves. I have a business card slash health insurance card. Um, organizer. This is just a small first aid kit that I keep there. I have an air swim pouch, which is where I keep a bunch of random stuff like a battery bank. Um, and a lighter and a couple cords and some pills, medicines, things like that. Um, and then as you can see, right over here, there is an internal water bottle pocket. Right now, at the moment, I just had my sunglass little pouch stuck in there. Um, it's nice, you can see in there, there's a, a good amount of space, a couple inches deep on the bottom, and you can fit lots of things. 
It's a very sturdy bag. It keeps its shape, does not slump over, always stands up on its own, which is something that I love about this bag. Turn it around. I just put a hero clip with some hand sanitizer on the outside here. There is a button, a snap, right here, a big open pocket. You could put more paperwork in there. You could put anything. Right now I just have some wet ones, a little bit of paperwork and a book. Um, a nice amount of space for whatever you need. There is a, also a quick access pocket right here, which I love. It is, it goes down to about here and it's really soft and slightly padded. This is where I put my phone every time, right in this pocket here. And then last but not least, luggage pass-through if you were traveling with this. And then when you don't need it, you just Velcro it down and you barely even notice that it's there. Um, I really like this bag. Lots of good organization. When you open the main compartment, you can see all your stuff easily. I love bags that are horizontally oriented instead of a backpack, whereas you open the top and everything's sort of on top of each other. With this, you just open it up and you can see everything, you know, lined up in such a way that makes it easy to grab out what you need. The only issue or complaint, I might say, with this bag is the shoulder strap that comes with the bag is not long. In other words, you can hold this like a brief, and obviously that look works really well. Or you can hang this over one shoulder at your side, but you can't really wear it cross-body. The strap is just not long enough. If I put it now, basically as long as it gets and you're not fitting this across your body to wear it just isn't going to work it's too small that's the only complaint i suppose you could swap it out for a different strap if you wanted these easily come off um if you want to totally remove it and just carry it this way minimal branding you know, really kind of sleek and subtle and simple. And again, just a nice looking bag. Definitely, you know, more oriented towards people who work in an office or people who carry computers or laptops every day. Someone who wants to look professional. But for myself, which is, that's not my everyday, um... I don't work in an office and I don't carry a laptop around, but I really like horizontally oriented bags with really good organization um, that are sleek and that stand up on their own. And this is a great example of that. So yeah, that's basically it. Just my experience and my use with the Air Commuter Brief 2. Again, 13 liters. Um, and that's about it. Let me know if you have any questions. Thanks a lot, guys.